right, y'all, we are ready to rock. Two minute, 45 second warm up. Um, give me that knee drive forward and out. You guys know me, I'm Christy, TC Fit Team. We got Wednesday Strength coming your way. Tabata is the name of the game today. So 20 second on, 10 second off intervals. Um, we have eight rounds through in that pattern, then we'll take a 30 second rest and get into a new set. Each set has two exercises. We'll alternate back and forth. Give me a body weight squat. You will need a mat. Um, we have a couple rounds on the floor. Maybe one, I can't remember, one round, I think. Um, and dumbbells that you can sumo squat, um, renegade row, bent over row, lunge. I'm trying to think of everything else that's on there. Curl. I think that's about it. A plethora. You guys know this by now. Big plethora of weights. Good. Let's open up side to side with the arms. Really quick warm up. Tabata is about a four minute round. Again, five of those, that's already 20 minutes. So you've got a lot, a lot to get through. Give me that shoulder circle, arms to a T. Gradually make them a little bit bigger. Get those snaps, your cracks out. Good, switch direction when you're ready. Again, start small. Gradually make them bigger. Good job. Nice wide stance, crisscross reach, you know it. Hello to the hamstrings. Feels good, I did a leg day yesterday, so this hamstring stretch feels great. Good, keep your toes, or your um, legs where they are, toes face forward, lateral lunge, side to side. Gonna stay here for five, four, three, two, and a one, good. Feel free to do any exercises, warm up, shake anything out that your body personally needs. I'm gonna explain our first round. So we're gonna start with a sumo squat. We have 20 seconds sumo squat. Your pace, two weights, one weight, no weight, your choice. We'll take a 10 second rest. Round number two is gonna be a bent over row. So dumbbells that you can row with. If you wanna add a single leg balance to this, I will do this with you. Um, you can, but option to keep both feet on the floor, okay? Get ready for our first round. We're on in five, four, remember sumo squat, three, two. Sumo squat, go ahead, 20 seconds. Now, 20 seconds is not a long time. Sometimes it feels like it, but 10 seconds also isn't either. So we're gonna push for the 20 and rest maximally for that 10 second. Three, two, one. 10 second rest. We have a bent over row. Grab dumbbells you can row with. It can be heavier or lighter. Whatever you choose, you're on in three, two. If you wanna do single leg balance, right leg is gonna stay down, left leg will pick up. If single leg balance is not your thing, that's all right. Do both legs down, that's fine. Throw to the hips, elbows in tight. Three, two, one, great job. We are back to the sumo squat. So we literally alternate between those two rounds for eight total. So this is number three of eight. Sumo squat, and two, and one. Here we go, nice wide stance. Toes face just slightly out from forward. Shoulders roll down and back, keep them there. Good work. Halfway. And five. Three, two, one, rest. We have our row, if you want single leg, left leg is down. Five, four, three, two, here we go. Single leg balance, row. I'm always worse on the side. We'll see how this goes. Ooh, just like that. <laughs> now that back leg, if you're doing this balance, doesn't need to be terribly high, right? You're just trying to get that balance foot factor in there. Go ahead and rest. You are four rounds down. We have four more to go. On in three, two, one, single squat. Again, that 10 seconds just goes by fast.
now, this pace is kind of a push pace. If you can catch the beat, do it. Three, two, one, rest. All right, back to the right leg down, left leg kicks back. If you want the single leg, you've got this down by now. That's the whole pattern of today's class. Two, one, core is tight, hip hinge slightly, do it. Row, baby, row. Halfway, row back to the hip, tall, long spine. Three, two, one, you may rest. Okay, one more of each. You get a 30 second rest and then we're into two new exercises. Sumo squat, three, two, one, let's go. Again, push pace if you want it. Sumo squats, working the booty. Obviously, they're gonna quad, a little hammy action in there too. Three, two, one, rest, good. Left leg down, single leg. Last round, 30 seconds is yours after this. On in three, two, find your balance, let's work. Halfway. Come on, five. Three, two, one. As promised, 30 seconds is yours. If you want to take an active recovery, feel free to step touch. You can jumping jack, high knees, or take your rest. Watch me, we have swings. I'm gonna do a single arm switch. So we're gonna swing, switch at the top. That is what I'm gonna do. You have the option to swing both hands the whole time, okay? Move number two is a bicep iso hold. So you're gonna hold two dumbbells and you're gonna hold this 20 seconds, okay? We're already on in three seconds, two, one. Again, I'm doing a single arm switch for the swing. So I switch at the top. Feel free to use both hands on a dumbbell. That is your option from the side. You are powerful through your hips. Spine stays tall, long, and neutral. Push it three, two, one. Rest, good. Grab another dumbbell. You're holding palms up by the sides. Straight hold. 20 seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. You can take this, yep, single leg balance if you want. Right leg down if you want it. Both feet down is an option too. You hold. You can add a little pulse if you want. Strict hold. Careful not to jut those elbows into your sides. Keep them free floating. Use your bicep. Three, two, one. Good job. Back to one or two dumbbells. One hand switch or both hands. You're on in five. Three, two, Push it out, 20 seconds, go. Big switch, if you're doing it. Good job, push it out. Three, two, one, good. Grab another dumbbell. Bicep, hold. On in three, two, one, hold it out. Pulse if you want to the beat. Single leg mounds is also your option. You'd be on your left foot now. Hold it out. Hold, hold, hold. Three, two, one. You may rest. Good. Four rounds down with that. Four to go. Okay, you're halfway. Three. Two, one, you swing. This is more of a hip hinge than a squat. So we're more here with the hips than here with a squat, okay? Use the hips, hip hinge forward. Three, two, one, rest. 20 seconds goes by fast when you're moving quick. Bicep hold, you know the drill. And begin, let's do it, 20 seconds. This will be round number six. If you want single leg balance, you're on your right leg. Again, pulse is an option. Hold it out, five, four, three, two, one, 
Good job. One more round of each, y'all. One more. Number seven and number eight. And that's it for this. That'll be two rounds down already. Three, two, one. Here we go. Swing. Great job, y'all. Stay with this. We got five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Good. One more dumbbell. After this round, we head to the floor. But we are going to use the dumbbells, so keep them handy, okay? Bicep hold. Let's go. Last round. 20 seconds. Thirty seconds will be yours to rest, recover, do whatever you need to for thirty seconds. And then again, meet me at the floor when you're ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Grab some water. We have a running game row to start, so we're in a push-up position from the toes or from the knees. You can do one dumbbell or both. We row back to the hip from this plank position, side to side, okay? What's next? Ooh, and then we have a bear squat. Bear squat looks like this. Tuck the toes, lift the knees, hover, and we squat from here, okay? We have those back to back. We're on in five seconds, renegade row. Three, two, find your plank. Here we go, row to the hip, row to the hip. This one, take it slow and controlled as best you can. If the row does not feel good for your wrists or this, um, I guess, grip in general, you can always hold a center plank and hold it from the elbows. Three, two, one. Round one is done. All right. We have the bear squat. We're going to hover the knees, tuck the toes. We're going to squat from there. Go ahead. Begin. Core is tight. Hips to the heels and back. Now, my grip is still on my dumbbells. It feels okay for my wrist. Feel free to take this strictly from the floor. And if this movement does not feel good, take a static hold. So you're just gonna hold, okay? Three, two, one. Rest, good. All right, that's what this round looks like. It's gonna get tough. A lot of tries, a lot of chest. We have our renegade row again. Let's go in two, one, begin. Now that you've got this motion and the movement down, be mindful of your hips. They shouldn't be rocking too much. I always say, imagine your favorite beverage is on your hips and you do not want to spill it. You want to drink it all when you're done. Two, one. Okay, you can rest. Good job. Bear squat. We know what it looks like. Remember your options. Three, two, tuck the toes, lift the knees. Go ahead. I'll never forget, I the first time I ever did a Tabata class, they had this bear squat move, and I remember watching the instructor teach it, and I was like, oh, whatever, that's gonna be so easy. And I did, and I almost puked. It was so hard. Go ahead and rest, you guys. It was so hard. It was a very humbling moment for myself. All right, you are four rounds down. You have four rounds to go. Renegade row in two, one. Gosh, that 10 seconds flies. Back to the hip. Not up to the shoulder, row it back. Row it back. Great work. Five, four, three, two, one. Yellow rock stars. All right, bear squat. On in three, two, one, and squat. Stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Rest. We have one more of each. That's it. One more of each. And then we have standing rounds for the next two rounds. Okay, three, two, renegade row. We're on. Ready. All right. 
What's, what is it? Yeah, bear squat. Oh my gosh, almost forgot. Go ahead. They've only said it 18 times. Bear squat. Your knees are hovered. Core is strong. 30 seconds is yours after this. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, you may stand. Grab some water. Take an active recovery or a complete recovery, your call. Our next one, four legs, y'all. Jump squat. Adding a little explosiveness to our strength today. You always have the option, I suppose, for a speed squat. If you don't want to lift or get your whole foot up off the floor. Then we have a push press. Two dumbbells to the shoulders. Push press. Push press, okay? First one's body weight. We're on in three, two, jump squat. Let's go. Now, height is not the biggest thing. I want you to explode up on that squat really quick. Really quick. Pop. Pop. Yep. Good. Three, two, one. Rest. Good. All right, this push press. Grab two weights to the shoulders. Slight bend in the knees. Use momentum to drive up. Drive. Drive. Go ahead and join me. So my heels physically get up off the floor for a push press. Speed is the name of this game. Three, two, one, good. Ah, oh, you guys, two down, six to go, let's do it. On in three, two, one, jump squat. Ha, ha, good. Again, remember your option up onto the toes. You're still gonna explode out of that squat, but eliminating the jump. Lower impact for the knees, for the hips, for the low back. Three, two, one, we go. I need a quick drink myself. All right, shoulder press or push press. On a three, two, one. Use momentum, push, push, push. My elbows come. Straight forward, down out to the side for the push press. Good. You can hear me heavy breathing <laughs> at home. Mind your own business. Two, one, rest. All right, four down, four to go. My Britney Spears mic picks up everything. We're on three, two, jump squats, push it out. Let's go, let's go. Your pace, our tempo. We're doing right in the studio. Three, two, one. Ooh. All right. On to number six. Got my 10 pounders ready. Three, two, one. Let's push. I always jump forward on this one. I don't know why, I feel like it's just an inch forward and forward. We got five, three, two, one. We have one more of each. Two more rounds here, then we finish. Two new moves, one more Tabata set. Two, one, jump squat, go. Sink hip back, jump, jump, jump. Halfway. Feel the legs. Heart rate is up. Three, two, one. Ten seconds. Oh my gosh. Getting hot in here. Three, two, last round, push press. Do it. Ten seconds. Thirty more is yours. After this, three, two, one. Great job. I'm turning the fan on. I'm so sweaty. All right, y'all. Next round, we have a wood chop. First round, we're gonna go from the right hip, left shoulder. Right hip, left shoulder. 
Then we have a lunge hold, right leg forward, left leg back. We're gonna hold this. I'm gonna lift the heel and down, up, down, okay? Grab a weight, we're already on in three, two, right hip, left shoulder will chop, up, twist, up. I always say imagine you're cushioning the flow with this slight squat, up, cushion, up, cushion, yes. Swing that across. Three, two, one, rest. Now, the lunge you can take weighted or not. Right leg forward, left leg back. Three, two, one, drop low, sink low, up, down with the heel. If you wanna just keep that heel elevated, it's a little bit harder, more balance, just harder in general. You can feel free to go up and down, take it for what you need. We are on five, four, three, two, one. That's what this looks like, okay? Left hip, right shoulder this time for the swing. On in three, round three, two, one, here we go. Down and across, swing, swing. A lot of powerful movements today. With that kettlebell, up, swing, and this wood chop. Go ahead and rest. Our left foot is forward, our right leg is back. Remember, heel up, down, up, down, or just up. Three, two, one, sink low. Here we go. Feels like we're in the club. Ooh, this gets tough. Lift that heel up, 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 as tall as you can get that. Hold it, hold it. Three, two, one, good. Four rounds down, four to go, halfway. This one went quick today. Right hip, left shoulder, swings. On in three, two, one, let's go. Halfway. Pooch five. Swing it, baby, let's go. And rest. <laughs> let's go, and then rest. <laughs> okay. Right leg forward, left leg back, heel up. And again, get that heel up as tall as you can. Three, two, drop low, stay there, lift. Hold, hold, hold. I used to work at a um, place where they taught high school or middle school kids with their sports, just like endurance and kind of agility stuff. Three, two, one, rest. This one, we would always make them do at the end for a minute. Oh my gosh. And we'd have to do it with them, obviously. It was so tough. All right, left hip, right shoulder. Two, one, let's go. Less than a minute of work, you guys. Less than a minute. Good. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. We have left, left leg forward, right leg back. Heel up, heel up. The challenge. Three, two, sink, stay. Heel up. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Good. Right heel to the floor. Toe up. Sit back into your hips. The shorter cool down, just over a minute here. Hit a lot to get through. Good, stand, kick your right leg up, quad stretch. Balance, balance. Good, all right, y'all, we got class tomorrow, 7.15 a.m. Join me virtually or in studio. We're using a long fitness band, so make sure you have one of those, good. Switch your leg. We have two more weeks of the schedule. And then you guys will be happy to know that our Thursday class is switching back to our lunch hour. So 11 a.m., kick your left leg up. So regular time for Thursday classes, both virtually and in studio still. We always have that option. 
Monday through Thursday, okay? Labor Day, Labor Day week, we have the week off, so no live classes then as an FYI. Good, bring your arms up and over, stretch through your lats, through your shoulders, through your core. Good job. And other side. Ooh, that always feels so good. Good, bring your hands back behind your body and your lace the fingers. Open up through the chest. Good, roll out the wrist. Both ways. A lot of grip. You guys, that's all we have for today's class. I'm proud of you for joining. Thank you all, as always. We will see you tomorrow. 7.15 a.m., bright and early. It's your wake-up call. Sarika, Stacy, Sue, how we doing? Feel better. Oh, my gosh, thank you. <laughs> Great, good. Whew. So sweaty. Sarika, I see that thumbs up. Thank you for joining. Holy moly.